Hey everybody, Steven here. Today I'm going to show you how to get the reshade mod for actually any of your games. Now I'm going to show you in regards to Subnautica, but you can use it on a multitude of different games here. Um, so reshade.me. I'm going to put a link for this in the description. You simply go here. Once you're here, you download. In terms of getting it, it's that easy. Um, beyond that, we're going to tinker around with it a little bit. And I'm going to show you how you actually kind of upload it to your games. You can download presets as well. You can check out the different things here, the form, the discord, facts, releases. Presets, for those that do want to kind of tinker with this a little bit, I'm still learning a lot about this personally. But with this, you have a game list. You can just literally go through the games. Once you're here, they can show you what their presets look like and you can download the preset and then once you're actually inside the game you can upload that versus trying to tinker with it yourself that's if you want to go that route so just a heads up with that like i said just as easy as downloading it once you have it you're going to run it click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation it's going to go through, it's going to look through your computer, and it's going to find the games that you can essentially use this on. And for the most part, any of these games, right? So Subnautica, you selected application. Um, uninstall if you want to do that, right? Or update. Um, all these things, I haven't messed with this. This is just what's going to actually be the different kind of things that you can select within the reshade application itself when you're running the game. Some of these I haven't used yet. Um, the before and after, I don't really mess with like fake HDR, for instance. So I don't have to have that in there if I don't want it, right? And then it's going to do that. Um, Direct 3D9, Direct 3D... 10, 11, 12, OpenGL, and then Vulkan, depending on whether or not the game runs on Vulkan. I've just done OpenGL by default. Same thing. I haven't really messed with that too much. So once that is there, we are done. Then we'll play the game here. It does give you the option also, which it didn't pull up, but when you initially install it, it, it can give you the option of, do you want the tutorial to be in there? I would recommend that. It's going to run you through kind of what you're doing. And you can see it right up here. If this is not here, this is not working, right? Once you're in the game, press the home button. Now, like I said, the initial kind of opening of this, it should run you through a tutorial. Once you're there, it just tells you how you're going to run everything and you get to select what you want here. And right now... Let's see which of these, there it is. So some of these are causing issues for me. Um, the tweaking here, the global pro, uh, preprocessor definitions, I haven't messed with that personally. Uh, there we go. The reflective bump mapping is the one that's causing. I literally just go through and check stuff and just see the difference. Like I said, I'm very new to all this. Um, but it's really, really cool what it can do. One of the big ones here, if I can find it, uh, reflective bump mapping, if it doesn't cause an issue with the game, um, it's gonna be a good one. I like the colorfulness, personally. Uh, some of the bigger, bigger ones are gonna do are FXAA, SMAA, um, MXAO. For this, seems like it's gonna do okay. Sometimes it causes an issue with it. Um, God rays can be cool, but a lot of times, as you can see, the game itself doesn't look too good with it on. It just depends on the game with that. Um, bloom depends on the game. Uh, same with the reflective bump mapping. Um, where's the other one I am looking for on this? I might already have it checked. And we have our multiple tabs up here, settings, statistics, log, about, uh, about OpenGL. Like I said, I'm new to this. Uh, I still have a lot more to learn, but at least you guys can get this and start that process of learning this yourself. And there are a ton of videos on YouTube showing you how to actually mess with this. 
in more depth. And like I said, you could actually just do the presets if you want to, if you don't want to mess with any of this stuff as well. Um, the before and after, that's what I don't have, right? The thing I don't mess with. Yeah. Eye adaption. I was trying to find another one here, but I'm not seeing it at the moment because there is a lot of stuff. But in that box too, this is what you could check off if you didn't want to see a lot of this stuff, which which ends up being the stuff you don't actually use. Magic Bloom, right there. Uh, but let's go ahead and just boot this up for a second. We can see what it looks like when it plays. Tinkering with the levels, I haven't messed with. Um, I, well, I've done it a little bit, but that's kind of beyond my scope. So you just really tinker around with it, see what it does. Just hopefully you remember where it was before, just in case you go too off base, you can get it back to what it is by default. But it looks really, really good. For this one too, the one, the vibrancy that I've ch changed, the reflectiveness of the surfaces, the shadows, um, the smoothness to everything, right? So the anti-aliasing aspects that you can kind of tweak. So it almost makes these feel like a new playing experience when you get to do this again, which is awesome. Okay. And you get to tweak it to what you want to see visually also, which is really, really cool. You have suffered minor head trauma. All right, let's hop out here. And let's climb the ladder. I've played Halo with this, Subnautica. Haven't messed with Below Zero just yet. But there's uh, a ton of games on that list that you can mess with. Let's jump in. Now, sometimes it messes with the text, which you can kind of see on the text here. It does look a little bit different. Halo, I noticed that, depending upon the settings that I have as well. But yeah, it's a nice visual upgrade to the game with this. Now here the precursor bases are going to be the big thing that you're going to see here. Let's do our go-to command. Let's see if we can find one real quick so I can show you guys at least that and we'll end with that. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. There we go. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. This alien structure appears. So here we're going to notice a difference, like I said, reflective surfaces. Right? But also with the vibrancy, the green in this structure is going to look more vibrant, how it casts light. Right. And let's go. So reflective surfaces here. But for me here, it's really the warper that looks pretty gnarly. Right there. So if we take vibrancy off, multi LUT, eye adaption, colorfulness, curves. MXAO, DP. So those are the ones that I had on there. And it's not that it's not a great looking game. It's still a great looking game without all that stuff. But it just adds a little extra to it. So hopefully that uh, helps anybody that was looking to install the reshade mod here and kind of tinker around with it and learn a little bit more but that's going to be it for this video if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me thanks so much for watching